Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. Baby needs a diaper change. I want to do it. I want to do it. How do you uh, interact? Do you just like give it a diaper? Because I keep getting this alert that it needs a diaper change, but. Oh, these are all the things you can give them? That's cool. Maybe you can't just give them a diaper. Why can't I change my baby's diaper? I keep getting this alert that says, okay, hold on, I gotta look this up. Okay, the wiki says that when I go to interact with the baby, I will get a little thing that pops up here. So apparently it's, I'm getting this alert, but it's not actually necessary. How well, how close are we to our own child? Are we still familiar? We're still familiar. I wonder what it takes to get to this third star. Seems like we're pretty close. Add an extra five attack points. Dang, dude, Crest with the buffs. I like that, I like that a lot. Um, well, let's try and gift. Do I have any more of those um, do collectors on me? Because she really liked, oh yeah, I got a bunch. Here you go. Okay, she's less and less happy about the do collectors. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to get rid of them. <laughs> okay, we have a couple things we got to do today, I believe. Um, well, we got to go judge the children's, what is it called? Model free cities? So we have that to do today. Um, and then if we have time, I think we'll have time. Let's see, from Trudy, oh my goodness, letters galore. From Trudy, I spoke with Mayor Gale about repairs in Porsche. Apparently some of their builders might not have the best equipment available. So we thought of a course of action. Would set them up with some top grade machinery. Bring them when you're ready. Okay, I really like this. Ooh, those are pretty. Thanks, Ernest. Letter from Jane, I suddenly felt like giving this to you today. Well, thank you. Everyone is just showering me with goodies today. Top level machinery. So is that a quest? Or is it just like a suggestion? Oh, here we go. Industrial furnace and industrial machine tools. Okay, well, we can get this started. I think we have the cooking stations available. Industrial furnace and industrial machine tools. Is that right? I guess we should track this. We're gonna have to do this right now. And then we'll go to the meeting point. This is not hard to make. There you go, Porsche, in your face. Still uh, cranking out these rifle bullets, huh? Cool. I should have plenty of rifle bullets, right? Oh yeah. Why do I look that way? Okay, well, let's, um, you know, morning chores every time. Happy, happy, are they, are they fully, are they happy yet? They're close. Tomorrow. We'll sell them all tomorrow. We'll get more. Hopefully it was worth the investment. The extra pets, <laughs> quite the investment. The extra, what, 15 tomatoes? All right. Well, I'm really excited to see what Jasmine and Andy propose. Something tells me Jasmine's gonna sweep the floor with Andy. I think that that's a reasonable uh, assumption to make. If you're a pretty sharp kid, Andy, I think, will eventually make a pretty good engineer or inventor. He really seems curious about, you know, the goings on of Chi. Now, let's see. Looks like everyone's already there, but there's no little quest thing happening. There's this, we know all about that. And then we got Cooper over here. What if we uh, track this, then what happens? So yeah, we gotta go. Pop, 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 pop. I think my chickens are done. Are they fully happy? Yep, okay, we can sell all those today. Easy, easy money. Confirm, Help my sweet little yaks, hello. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And if we happen to run into X anywhere, we need to give X. I think X likes some of those um, fish that I caught, the sand fish that I caught. I was looking on the wiki, and uh, I think those are there's a, like the horned adders. I want to say it's the horned adders that um, he's fond of. So, okay, and we don't need to track this one anymore. We just gotta wait for these to finish. So we'll cancel that. We will track this, turn that in, and then we'll do this. 
And that should be that. Hey, check it out. Wait, what about this? Is this upgradable now? No, we need two manganese steel gears. Let's do that. I guess they keep getting used. I think we were just low on the bars. Oh yeah, that's the problem. We gotta go change our order with the moles. We're not getting nearly enough iron. It seems like I probably have more than enough copper at this point, but it's the iron that we need. Oh, there's Fang. Is, uh, oh, the bird's with him. Let's see, can we interact with just the bird when, sorry? Yes. The Oasis, it looks wonderful. This and your friends did this? Yes, sir, we did. He doesn't like gifts, right? So, um, a bummer. I'll just have to hopefully catch the bird when the bird is out and about. Why do I have a work table? I did not request that, that's weird. Okay. Here you go. A couple of stoves for you. Go ahead and cook it up. Not that hard. Beautiful. And then we'll chat. Well, how about that? Y'all found enough water to fix the water crisis just like that. You know, it's always the last place you look. Catch you later. That is a, a um, objectively true statement, but I don't think any of us would have ever expected to look in the Starship Ruins for water. I think we would look in the starship ruins for ruined starships. Just saying. Okay, chicken coop. I have to remember which ones actually like the chestnuts more. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, In the real world, if you tried to raise six roosters together, they would all just try and kill each other. Ooh, cool. I don't think I've ever ran up here before. If I jump off of this, I will probably die. Oh, Crap, no, this is really scary. Okay, there we go. Let's settle down there, Merle. Um, I feel like there's a lot of renovating that could be done. Like, look at these stairs. They just look like crap. Why is there wood here? There's a lot of fixing up that we could do all around town. Look at these stairs, they're just a dump. All of this could be fixed up, and I'm definitely here, um, unsure. Come on, guy. Okay. <laughs> that would be kind of fun if you could just go through and just spruce everything up and make the city shine. Make it all out of gold. I would love that. Oh, everyone's here, holy crap. We're all waiting for you. Things are all set and ready to go. And look, here's a placard that you helped to make. Just hold it up for whoever you think is the best representative later. Okay, I need to point out that this is a terrifying situation that I suddenly find myself in. I am judging three children based on their campaigns to be mayor in front of all their parents and the townsfolk. Oh my God, how am I supposed to do this objectively? This is horrifying. I actually don't wanna do this right now. The only thing that could make this worse, the only thing that could make this worse is if Danby's kid was in this contest because she would not accept anyone but her kid winning. <sighs> Okay, we gotta do this. Welcome, parents and students. I apologize for the delay. I hope everyone is ready. The show is about to start. Okay, Please, I... <laughs> find your place among the judges. I'm already screwing it up. Apparently I am late. I didn't realize I was supposed to be here first thing in the morning. You didn't tell me when to be here. Ladies I also showed up with a gun gentlemen. on my back. Welcome to the 15th Sandrock Mayor election. <laughs> I'm your current Sandrock Mayor, Granny Jane. It's such a great feeling seeing so many young faces running for the next mayor today. Okay, she's definitely making fun of our Sandrock accent, and I'm a little bit uh, offended on behalf of my wife. Wow, great acting. That's not acting. She is Mayor Jane. <laughs> okay, well, the kids As like it. As you can see, 
I'm getting too old for the role of mayor, and it's time for some new sapling to take over. I've witnessed Sandrock's rapid development over the years, and everyone has been saying lately that we're the center of the Alliance. Ahem. Oh, wow. But I think our city still has the potential to grow even further in areas like entertainment, culture, and city development. That's exactly what I wanted to hear in today's campaign proposals. Four representatives from the Alliance Council are also invited to be the judges of this event. They are the clothing mogul, Grandma Vivi. Uh, these three right here are not into this at all. <laughs> oh, hey everyone. I'm, I am clothing mogul Vivi, and I'd like to make clothes for people. Entertainment industry leader, Miss Katori. <laughs> Yep, better present some solid differentiation in your plans, or otherwise, I will not invest. Ooh, coming out harsh from the gate. Love it, Katori. Architecture and engineering mastermind, Miss Heidi. It's gonna be sweet as pie, watch. Hello, everyone. I hope you all do well. Called it. God, I love her. And finally, our biggest guest here today, Superstar Builder. Without a doubt, you guys better behave yourself. One of the best, if not the best builder across the Alliance. I can't disagree with that statement. So without further ado, let's welcome the first candidate, Miss Jasmine, to make her speech. <clears throat> Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine and I am running for the mayor of Sandrock. Once elected, I'll put more resources into the promotion of our town and the education sector. Okay, great. Any more specifics on that? Sandrock has a fascinating history and loads of town folks, yet it has not been properly marketed in my opinion. Okay. My plan is to set up a publishing house in Martle Square and invite Mr. Ernie, I, I mean Mr. Ernest, along with Mr. Owen to write up a chronicle of Sandrock. This is actually a really great idea. This is a fantastic idea. That way, we can spread the word of Sandrock among the Alliance and let more people learn about the city's rich history and culture. Not only that, but if you start running a successful publishing house, you can start publishing writings from people from all over the free cities, which would generate um, jobs and income for Sandrock. This is, a gr this is a great idea. Sounds like she's been learning from her ma. Now, wait just a darn moment. Our, our <laughs> population increases, I'm also going to divide the school into kindergarten, grade school, and high school, so that students within the appropriate age group can receive the focus education that they deserve. Okay, she's clearly thought this out. I am really impressed. The plan will culminate in establishing a new university of higher learning right here in Sandrock, so that talented children don't have to leave anymore. And we've already talked about how with the sheer volume of relics around and the research possibilities with relating to the bio crust and all the stuff that we've been doing to re-engineer the desert, that this could be a huge science um, hub for the free cities. So a university would be the perfect center for that. Okay. Jasmine's winning my heart over right now. I'm not going to lie. Nice ideas, Jazz. Jazz is a cute name. That's all for me today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Miss Jasmine. Next up, we have our next candidate, Mr. Andy. Pebbles is going to be so adorable. <laughs> they smacked into hey, each other. How y'all doing? My name is Andy, and I have a master plan for the future of Saint Rock. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, we've got... um. People driving gungums, uh, riding yakmels, a Ferris wheel. I really like this idea. Obviously, a theme park, and then jetpacks, and revitalizing the Olympia project. What in the yakmo is this? <laughs> Calm down, Cooper. Okay. Oh crap! The recreational business and revamp Sandrock into a giant theme park with attractions everywhere. Like the Yak Mill Ranch? Let's make a Yak Mill themed carousel called the Wheel of Yak Mill. Okay, I accidentally hit the space button and I think I skipped dialogue. Let me see if I can find the dialogue on the wiki because I don't want to miss this. Okay, I don't think I actually did. I'm looking at the wiki right here. Oh, I Whoa. get you, kid. Boop. After the revamp, the Martel Oasis will turn into a water park. Ideally, it'll be extended to the other side of the valley so we can design a waterfall. Let's call it the Desert Falls. This, okay, 
They both have totally different ideas of how to develop Sandrock, but actually both of these are really good ideas. Her idea is to basically turn it into um, a research center with the university, right? She really wanted to focus on education make Sandrock a destination for people that want to learn. Not only would the university keep the kids at in town, but it would also attract people from outside of town who would then want to stay. Um, and then, of course, the publishing house is a really cool idea because I just think it's a great way to generate not only publicity for Sandrock, but income. Now, this guy wants to go full tourist, right? He wants to build a big amusement park. After the revamp, the model is will turn into a water park. It'll be extended to the other side of the earth so we can design a waterfall. So a water park in a desert. This is a really crazy idea, but it is interesting in that it utilizes this newfound abundant resource in a, in a really fun way that generates tourism and thus income for Sandrock. Uh, what I was going to say before, because I keep goofing this up, is that, um, let's see, I didn't skip any dialogue. You can see right here, right? The Wheel of Yakmel, a Yakmel-themed carousel. Okay, hilarious. I'm focused now. I'm back on it, okay? Now that's a thought. Oh, she likes it. She's going to steal it. A handicraft paradise will be built next to the workshop of the builders so that they can teach these tourists how to make the best handicrafts. As for the stuff they make, they'll buy it for themselves. This is... So basically, it's like a Build-A-Bear, but <laughs> it's like the builders build a bunch of stuff, <laughs> build a handicraft. <laughs> this is actually a clever idea. And not only that, there is actually, so going back to the education idea where she had, right, turned into a university, what about a big trade school that could be opened up so that builders could come from all over to learn how to build and craft stuff? This is sort of along the lines here. I like this idea. This is a tourist idea, but I think that there's an actual educational aspect to this idea this kid's got talent these are both really good i have a no large theme park like this it'll be mad not to have proper transportation look i've designed this super steam mobile suit backpack so that people can get to places faster okay that's got to be what the rocket pack is I'm I'm a little this one's the weakest idea of them all a super steam mobile backpack I don't know how this works without just killing the occupant like who's going to drive this who's gonna know how to drive this right like Chi crashes this thing all the time anyways oh too bad Chi's not here he would like so this idea from a plan. thank y'all for listening vote for me and you get free water park tickets oh and now he's bribing us this is uh on par this is true banditry right here thank you mr andy so let's give a warm welcome to our last candidate mr pebbles uh, my name is pebbles i when i am mayor i will grow my papa sticking company okay okay go on I'll So cute. Oh, my God. Pull my heartstrings. Son, I'm so proud of you. Is he going to start Ooh. crying? Bad idea there, Pebbles. It's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Mr. Pebbles. You know why that isn't a bad idea? Because there's we they're constantly pulling up so much salvage. And we're actually able to turn the salvage into a lot of really good stuff. Everything that we've built has come out of the salvage, right? So expanding the salvaging operation into a much bigger project, um, I would say in conjunction with Zeke and Lua and Nia to make sure that we're preserving the environment would generate a ton of resources because we could then, we would generate such an abundance of resources we could export that stuff to other cities. Okay. After hearing everyone's proposal, I think the future of Sandrock is in safe hands. So let's have our judges decide who's the best candidate. Okay, this is a genuinely tough call to make here. I didn't understand some of them, but I think Jasmine's ideas are well thought out. So I vote for her. I, I like both ideas a lot. In fact, I, excuse me, I like all three ideas a lot. There were three basic plans here. Um, and I think 
what makes this difficult is that all of those plans are actually very viable. I think the amusement park, the theme park tourist attraction is a fantastic idea. Great way to generate tourism. Great way to get people coming in, spending money in Sandrock. Obviously that's tax revenue. Obviously that's good for local business. I think the university aspect and publishing house idea of Jasmine's is also a brilliant one. Turn Sandrock into a um, scientific, a, a hub for science and research through the university, right? Developing the town to make it a, you know, a seat of education. This is a brilliant idea. I've talked about this before. And then I think expanding the salvaging operation is also a really good idea because it's industry. So it's, uh, you know, it's, this is what makes it tough is that ideally we would do all three of these things right? We would expand industry. We would expand education and research, and we would expand tourism because that's how you grow a city in a healthy manner. I don't really know who I'm going to pick. Ugh. Yes! <laughs> Cute. I think Andy's ideas are a bit pie in the sky. However, it's not unreasonable, and it's opened up a lot of my mind. Okay. I'll vote for Andy. Yo! Woohoo! Well, Andy's idea is certainly thoughtful. I think some of the cost would be too much for Sandrock to handle. I think Pebble's idea is honestly not that bad. A more capable salvaging company would help our city. I guess I'll vote for Pebbles. Of course, I'm going to be the one to break the tie. And then I think this word capable here it maybe has a negative connotation. And like, it's not that... Um, He's not capable. It's not that these two are not capable. It's like literally just means capacity. A more, a higher capacity salvaging company. I don't know whether I appreciate that comment or not. <laughs> um, let's see. Jasmine's idea has all solid. Andy's proposal is certainly innovative. I'm, okay. I'm going to have to go with Jasmine's idea. And the reason being is I've already talked about expanding. I think her ideas for developing Sandrock and what I have talked about for the best things we could do for Sandrock are too parallel to not choose this idea, right? Then Miss Jasmine will win the race with two votes. Congratulations, Miss Jasmine. You're now the newly elected mayor of Sandrock. It was hard to do though, because I'm going to be so sad if these two react poorly, right? <laughs> appreciate the support, everyone. Sandrock will surely become an even more prosperous place under my leadership. So that's it for today's Model Free Cities. Thanks to everyone again for tuning in. This All right. is such a great activity. I've never seen these kids acting like this before. As a parent, Where the heck is even Trudy? Oh, there she is. Quite interesting. Oh, it's so cute when he talks about being a parent. Yep. All the kids are so motivated, I must say. This is a genius of an idea for Miss Jane. Brilliant I didn't idea. Didn't even get the idea at first, but I was fully immersed at the end. Where is Danby? I can't even see. She must be behind me, maybe. Today's event went well thanks to everyone's support, and I really appreciate it. Learning needs to be fun, and we hope to do more in the future. That'll be all. Have a good day, everyone. What made this lesson so good was that it made the kids think about the things that they it, it it tapped into the kids inner desires for what they want to see in the in the city and let them let them believe that they could dream of a better sand rock and that is there's no better education than getting some than than feeling like there's personal stakes in what you're doing right that is what makes you motivated this was really fun <sighs> did i look nervous no you killed it Fortunately, the event ended in a blast. I felt like folks have now started to get my teaching style. That's such a weight off my mind. And it's all thanks to you. My pleasure. You have been so helpful and caring since I came to Sandrock. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, okay, I wanna I wanna point some things out here. Obviously, I love and adore Heidi, and it's been so much fun playing uh, with her as a relationship and then getting married and having a kid adorable. The other character, <laughs> did you see Andy's little saunter right there? That was so funny. 
The other character that has like touched my heart the most deeply is Unsure. If there was ever a soulmate that the character Unki has in this game, it's gotta be Unsure. I absolutely adore him. I adore him. I don't even see him. I think he'd make a great romantic partner. I know some of you just love him to death, but there's just the depth of that of that being that I have seen very, very few times in a video game. Why am I saying this? Because Jane came to the scene so late and I absolutely adore her enthusiasm and her eagerness so much that if I had not chosen, I would probably be dating Jane. I think she is fantastic. I absolutely adore this character. Friends should help each other out. This is our only choice though. That's so true. Can't wait to continue my life in Sandrock with buddies like you. That's all for today. I haven't slept very much over the past few days, so I need to go catch some shut-eye. See you later. You know what it is? That moment on the bridge with Heidi when she talked about how she bucked her old mentor's style, um, and, and we got this really, we got to see the, her, the passion that she had for her craft. That was what drew me to Heidi as the character initially. And seeing Jane in action with her passion for teaching and educating these kids in unique ways, it's the same kind of thing. I am most moved by a human being's passion. If you are passionate about something, I don't care what it is. I just love seeing people in the throes of passion. And it can be about something I don't give, you know, two shits about like i am not a sports person at all i don't know if you've guessed that or not i do not watch sports but when people are really into sports it's fun to listen because you feel how excited they are about it i just love anytime anyone is passionate about anything that's what makes jane such an interesting character to me okay um well heck yes where you are where you at merle i think wait let's make sure hold on before we head out do a couple things because we are going into I think this is probably enough space so let's see we've got our power drill heck yes we've got our titanium daggers we've got our powered up sharpshooter rifle let's hit that sort button really quick I have another one of these great um what am I looking for I want to make sure that I have stamina medicine and strong medicine this, I might go by fangs really quick and get more of this strong medicine because, oh, you know what? We did not open up any of these. I'm not going to open these now, though. I see them. I'm not going to open them now. I'll try and remember to open them later. But um, um I want to make sure that I have more than enough medicine. Where's the doctor's office? Over here. Before we dive into these, what I assume are going to be ruins, I feel like I'm, I'm fearful we're going to have to go head to head with some really tough gigglers right now. So let's see, I'm just going to buy all of this. Thank you, sir. I don't really feel like I need either of these. Okay. Oops. I also, I need to empty out my bags of all these clothes. I need to do something about my inventory again. It's stressing me out. I know it stresses you out too. It was good for about a day. <laughs> now it's a, now it's a freaking disaster again. Okay. Let's, um, we're going to take it to the bend and we're going to run all the way over there. That's our plan. I think everything else we're good to go on, right? I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything before we head out. This is a big day. How exciting. How exciting. Let's go. Sorry, snakes. Howdy. You done with the drill? Nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there is already gone ahead to turn off the machine. Can you clear the path with the drill? I'll go for it. How the rude. <laughs> oh, you stupid, stupid snakes. 
Oh, these new daggers are sweet. I think this is the first time we've used them. Where'd the other one go? What is that sound? Cool. Look at how awesome I look. I look so freaking awesome with my mega drill, my badass outfit. Nice. Wow. Did you break Holy all the Holy crap. Here? I'm way impressed. There's so much You're more back here. So cool. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> nice. Ruin is just a little up ahead. Ready to roll out? Uh, I'm ready. The headaches started a little beyond this point, but if Larry's done his job, it should be smooth sailing. Here goes nothing. Look at like three of the best dressed people in town going on a mission. This is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Can I take, can we like hop on Merle? Yes. Looks like Larry pulled it off. Come on. Wow. Oh my gosh. I had no idea all this stuff was here. It's even more ruins. Larry was supposed to have met us here. I hope he's okay. You don't suppose something happened to him, do you? He's a very capable person. I'm I have not a worried. bad feeling about this. See if there's a way in. I figured we were gonna run Look, into Giegler trouble. There's a bunch of pipes over there. I reckon that's our ticket inside. Like right through here, not this. Okay, no, no Merle for me. Lab seven. Everyone. Careful now. Nice and slow. Larry? Larry! Come on. We've got to try something. Okay, time has officially frozen, as it always does in these environments. Starby on a horse. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to be fighting some serious bad guys. Oh, and we're fighting Gigglers as well. Okay, very, very exciting. Sand coral. Hey, we were just wondering. That will help us upgrade, I want to say, the vacuum cleaner. Oh, look. That's the shortcut. No, that's the way forward. We can't go this way, can we? Nope, but there's a chest back there. I wonder if Nia's going to fight. How cool would that be? Okay, this is awesome. Um, Something tells me these guys are going to be pretty serious. No. Yeah. Ah, not serious enough. Nice try, Giegler Associate. Ooh, pop. What the heck? Please tell me. Ooh. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, look at this guy. Um, if that's Larry's wife, if his wife isn't dead, I'm gonna be so happy for him. Oh, she is alive, yes! Wasn't Let's that go. Last voice Larry? Yeah, we yeah. gotta go. And he said Xena. That was his wife's name, wasn't it? <laughs> Sounds like they're in trouble. Let's take this seriously. Well, at least we know why Larry didn't show up. Anyhow, we gotta go save Larry's hide. Let's see where this road leads us. All right, let's go. It's gonna lead us right into this Giegler's face. What is he called, a Giegler intern? That's so funny. Oh, I should have fought the PR officer first. Now you can't really like, I feel bad murdering interns. They're just trying to improve their career. There you go, you dead. Let's see. Let's crack as much of this stuff open as possible. Okay, we're gonna get strong medicine from doing this. Whoa, cool. Odd weather, all things considered. What is that? Well, it's fake. Clouds like that wouldn't just appear out of nowhere in Sandrock. It's gotta be simulated weather, perhaps needed for some of the experiments they were doing. So they're simulating clouds above the stone? That's wouldn't crazy. That out. Oh, wasn't this place meant to be deep in the ocean? Maybe it was for folks living here, in case they missed being up on the surface. Mm, oh, I see. It's just a projection. Uh, sometimes these things remain a mystery. Let's press on. The whole fake sky dark room thing is giving me the creeps. Okay. Up yonder. That door looks as promising as any. Let's check it out. Look at how crazy these dudes look. Um, I want to go... 
Boy, my aim is trash, isn't it? Am I getting attacked? Yes, I am. You got a, what does he have, a shovel? So freaking cute. Learned about Super Star Beat. Dang, Justice is kicking ass. Okay, oh, there's one more over here. Stay, oh, whoa, what is she throwing? Let me see her do it again. <laughs> That's pretty, so she's just throwing rocks? <laughs> what is she throwing? Freaking ninja stars? <laughs> that was rad. Okay, let's, um, you know, destroy everything that we can. Nano material, we'll gather that up, absolutely. Um, ooh, I should have my backpack on me. Put that there. Hmm. Masterpiece us plus one. Pop, oh my gosh. So cool. Okay, let's look around. What do we got here? Simple wire. We'll take it. Oh, a feather duster. Just in case. What are these? These look awesome. Can I take these? Okay, is that everything? I think it is. Let's go. Oh, I can't I can't destroy that box? Boo. Whoa. This thing's huge. It's got a switch on it. My experience diving has taught me just to flip any switches I see and hope for the best. What's your take? Looks like it turns the power on. You don't suppose it could also have something to do with that weather simulation thing, do you? I mean, it's possible. Well, only one way to find out. Amen to that. Let's go. Oh, they want me to actually throw the switch? Let's look around a little bit. Okay. Lots of nanomaterial. Gotta love it. I love that we're in this, like, super advanced facility and there's ancient clay pots. It's really funny. Okay, this is the way we came, so we gotta throw this switch. Nothing else to get, it looks like. Okay, power's on. Whoa, power cool. Restoration sequence activated. Okay, power so. That did the trick. Some of the lights just went on. Another so. door lit up, too. Reckon that's our cue. Okay, I think we understand what we gotta do. We gotta flip all of the switches through all these doors, and then it will power this little console here. How fun. Okay, was it this one? Will the map tell me what I haven't gone in yet? I guess I just- A dormitory? So these scientists live like students? Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're underwater. On the ground. It could lead to something. Oh, interesting. Let's see. A childlike drawing that appears to depict some kind of lizard creature standing upright. Even from the simplistic image, you notice the figure isn't exactly like one of the modern Gigglers. There's a signature at the bottom. Letter K. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is an IV drip. Are we going to find out that the Gigglers are like genetically modified humans? That's exactly what we're going to find out, huh? Crazy. Okay, the lizard spawn from batch 415 have hatched successfully. Our latest batch of junior scientists, however, I have assigned some of them to conduct basic inspections from here on out. Already they have begun displaying the compet displaying incompetence. They defy protocols and have been given the these lizard names, Kiki, Coco, Bob, Asinine. And further dangerous, establishing personal connections to our experiments is a disaster waiting to happen. Okay, so yes, I think we've just basically confirmed that the Gigglers are genetic experiments that were happening at the bottom of the ocean. Power restoration sequence activated. Power restoration Ooh, halfway status there. 50%. Okay, what door is open now? I guess this one. Oh, look, there they are. Oh my god, there's a ton of them. Well, you know what they say. Eat an elephant one bite at a time. Hey, these, this PR officer is pretty strong. I gotta get out of that, whatever that's about to happen. I gotta keep an eye on my health. These guys are a lot stronger than they look. At least a lot of damage that this dude takes. Here we go. 
Logan's over here soloing this dude. I got you. Nice. Open chest. What did I get? Masterpiece Dragon Knight. Fun. Before we hit the switch, let's make sure that we clear everything. Oh, what's this? A device that can resist interference from infrasound waves and is worn on the ear. Has been inoperable for a long time. Okay, so they definitely were doing experiments with sound and maybe trying to make sure that their little Giegler experiments were impervious to sound. Something like that, I imagine. Let's flip that bad boy. Lights on. I'm guessing this door will open. Sequence activated. Power restoration well, my math's status, right. Only one to go. Um, one thing that we could do, why am I carrying around all these pants? Let's put this there. Um, I don't think I'm like burning up on stamina or anything. Let's, uh, let's keep our health topped off. Was it this one? Yes, we haven't been in this one yet. Simple wire. Hey, we needed these. What do you know? Good thing I gather everything I see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Today, Kiki drew a picture for us. Truly fascinating. I think I will remove Kiki from mutation trials and just see how her development progresses naturally. Her mental capacities are accelerating rapidly. She reminds me of little Acacia. If only she had survived. Is that Jimmy's daughter? Oh, now, oh, this, so this is what happened, right? They were doing these experiments, making these genetically modified lizard people, and then he got attached to one. Wasn't he just saying the dangers of getting attached to one? Then he did. Maybe because his daughter died? And so he bonded with one, and that's what set them free? I think we're putting the pieces together here, folks. Oh, this is so cool. Again, the silly old clay pot. <laughs> that makes no sense. Let's flip that switch. Power restoration Whoa, cool. Power this restoration kind of life couldn't status. exist like this without 100%. something special going on. Go on, tell us more. This has got to be the right place. Let's hope so. Exactly. Okay, amazing giant DNA model. Tell me more. Oh, well, here's the control panel. Use. System. Welcome to Giggle. Whoa, Don't awesome. Steal anything. The place is called Giggle? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Is this your first time down in one of these? The show's only just getting started. Is that so? Well, I'm looking forward to the next act then. Yeah, well, path's clear. That's what you're gonna get. <laughs> okay, you two, calm down. My aim is trash with this thing. Logan literally just keeps jumping right in the fire. I've made all these bullets. I might as well use them, right? Reload. Well, I don't have that many. Well, 200. That's not bad. Oh, here we go. Hello. I'll take it. What do we got? Water. That's nice. Excuse me, Mr. Logan. We're so cool. Look at the three of us. Hey, let's stop here for a sec. Take a breather. Besides, I think it might be about time to talk about the elephant in the room. Go on. Oh, yeah. I reckon you're thinking the same thing. Larry lost all that weight, <laughs> but it just doesn't look good. <laughs> he likes his lizards a little husky, huh? <laughs> I was more referring to that elephant. Okay. What the heck is even this? So all of these things were genetic experiments. Interesting. This wasn't like rapid evolution from the fallout of whatever calamity weapons called the oh, caused the end of the world, right? Well, I stand by what I said. Jeez, Logan. Huh. Tell us how you really feel. But let's keep our eyes on the prize. Looks like two paths are ahead. Let's check that closed door first. What is even going on back there? Uh, something it tells me we're gonna have to fight that giant two mammoth. Separate codes combine into a passcode required to open the administrative door. Ah, oh, so close and yet so far. 
the algae is right behind this door. Uh, sounds to me like there's a lot more than just algae behind this door. Shoot, we ain't got a clue. Well, we can Let's find some. Around. Maybe it's written somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, don't like those sounds. Let's see. The elephant, one of nature's largest and most resilient animals. Its average lifespan of 40 to 6 years makes it especially interesting considering similarly large land mammals often reach senility before 20 years. Elephants are resistant to various genetic diseases, so understanding their genetic code was one of the first endeavors of Giggle Co. Sought to conquer, pave the way for numerous. Okay, uh, turn on holograms. We'll leave those on there. Very pretty. I like them. What do we got here? Oh, just more sand coral. It's a piece of alloy on the ground. Please enter administrator code. Mash the keys and scream. Okay, that's silly. Code incorrect. I like this little cat radio. I kind of want that. What's this? Okay, biochip record data, chip implantation. Looks like we were putting chips and stuff. F01, M01, M03, F004, so male one, female two. Excuse me, female one, male two, male three, female four. Suddenly a text box, text box pops up on the screen. System, the biochip in you. The Giggle Co. biochip is implanted in all experimental bodies. What does this mean to you as a lab worker? Well, guess what? Lab work is now easier than ever, as you'll be able to monitor your specimen's vitals, location, and more, all from your computer screen. By reading this, you hereby volunteer to allow us to install chips into your brains as well. Jeez, Giggle Co. sounds horrible. Absolutely horrible. Okay. The, that was the way to get the code, so I think we're gonna have to go this way. Something tells me, though, I'm gonna have to shoot some stuff out of the air. Super hot hermit crab? Whoa. Let's just look at this thing for a second. What in the world is even this? Oh, I didn't notice the <laughs> Starbiana always riding the seahorse. That is amazing. I love that. Let's get out of whatever that is. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Okay. Administrator's note, algae cultivation. Um, I think that we got ourselves, yep. We got ourselves one of the codes. Let's look at this. Whoa, cool. Whoa, that's a lot of test tube things. Are we getting closer to the algae? Yes, only one way to find out. Okay, um, I guess we're going down. Let's heal up a little bit. Uh, Nia. You don't belong in the middle of the sky. What are you doing? Okay, there's a chest over there. Some boxes right here. There we go. Sand coral. There's, uh, oh, Giggler security. This is gonna be a problem. Whoa, look at his knives. Oh, um, I did not know those were breakable. That was not good. I am going to try really hard not to smash all of those. This is just like the machine we have at home. Oh, crap. Okay, so, oh God. Associate. What is he running around with? Does he have like pots and pans? It's kind of funny. 
more stuff gonna pop out of these. I really don't, I mean, they're, I'll be, I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of tempting to smash, but I kind of want to use all this stuff as research, right? Oh, it's one of the lava dudes. This guy's hard to kill. He got him on his back, nice. be anywhere near that. Nice! <laughs> Did you see Logan was like, F this, and just shot it to death. <laughs> uh, oh no, another one. Hey, can we just corner it and kick its ass? Uh, Nia, you ran the wrong way. Good thing there's no friendly fire. Okay, that's the way we came. Let's get whatever's in here. Unlock new furniture style royal armchair. Cool. Masterpiece, follow your heart. Cool. More posters for the factory. I love it. Um, okay, so these looks like the last couple of nerds. These interns really pose no threat. These PR officers are not a joke, though. Oh, we see a health thing. You know what that means. It's boss time. Here we go. Administrator's note will take it. Smash that. Are there any more chests? Okay. Oh, no. Kill this. Darby first. Oh, I'm slimed and it was slowing me. Okay. Um, I think we've got everything, didn't we? Okay, well, we'll heal up. Might be a good time to save, sure. Oh, what? Uh, hybrid organisms? That basically covers everything. <sighs> I've never really put much thought into all that Church of Light doctrine about how the people of the old world tried to play God. But seeing is believing. Jeez, I'm getting goosebumps. I've heard people talking about it before. But you're saying the Gieglers, the, the rat folks, the mole people, they're all made here? I thought that they were just um, like maybe rapid evolutions post calamity, but this is a really crazy idea. Maybe not here, here, but yeah, definitely from some old world lab out there. Some of the hybrids are our friends. Yeah, I guess it's not all bad. That's the thing, is like, they're, how, if it wasn't for them, would we be in the situation that we're we're in now, right? Like, we've become friends with Larry. We've become friends with the mole people, the rat princess, right? Like, we don't have to be enemies with them. Was it right for the scientists to play God? Well, no, in the sense that they destroyed their own world. But if we can take that information and use it as a lesson to just, you know resist the temptation to go that far again, then, you know, we can avoid the calamity and the world is richer for all of the new interesting beings that are in it. Uh, that's my hyper positive take on all of it. I always thought mutant animals were due to the pollution and whatnot from the old world. I guess I knew nothing. None of us know anything, Logan, it's okay. Well, anyhow, we got the codes. Let's go. Let's go. I hope Larry is okay. He's fine. He's super tough. Okay, go to the algae cultivation room. Isn't that this? Break that. Let's break that. I guess we gotta go back this way. Oh. So if I kill... <laughs> so is there a dude behind all of these? Nope. Okay, well, let's not destroy any more algae. I got a power stone for my trouble. Am I able to save? No, I love that it says it might be a good time to save and yet you can't save here. What's behind this door? Nothing? 
Okay, all that was really, in did we read this? Oh, today is the day I implement Kiki with a biochip. I must admit, I felt a touch of anguish, seeing the curiosity in her eyes as I turned her into another experimentation. I see I myself have fallen victim to the mindset I have criticized. I mustn't allow myself to get attached to these creatures again. The betterment of humanity depends on my level-headedness. And highlighted, from now on, I will refer to her by her experimentation number. As every other sane scientist does in this lab, experimentation 20 blah 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 48. We maybe remember these numbers, 20 and 48 on the outside? Um, I think that this was the mistake, right? This was the mistake by not allowing yourself to have a heart and have some empathy for creatures other than yourself you created the calamity right that's the real danger of science if you do it heartlessly well oh god what in the hell am i even supposed to do with this hello there we go uh i'm just gonna sit back neutralized have a nice day uh you got to admit logan's pretty ballsy for just ow crap we're getting hurt we're just diving in there okay so it was this over here wasn't it i think it's this one Okay, doesn't revive our stamina. Do we need that? Why don't we eat a little stamina? Just to be on the safe side. Okay, whoa, cool. Look whoa. inside. Who are they? Oh no, there's Larry and Xena. Zena, Zena, babe. Why do you deny me so? I am the president now. As the most capable lady in our company, you should be with me. Forget about your former good-for-nothing husband. So when a Giggler becomes president, do they immediately become just like massive? Is that just part of the thing? Or is it that they just eat so much because they're showered with all of the food possible that they grow to this size? Look at this top. This is hilarious. What is this? <laughs> is his mouth, is he like mouth tied? Well, that won't be for long. You've been holding out on me for way too long, my dear Xena. Always saying Larry will be back. Too bad for you. I am in control now. Okay, I recognize who's doing this voice acting. Sounds familiar. And Larry, he comes back a traitor. Saying nonsense about the holy book is false, and the humans in Sandrock are not our enemies. That is a problem. If the, all of the Gigglers believe in this, you know, in their religion, and he comes back saying that it's all a lie, he can definitely use that as leverage against him. Larry, cousin, it's hard to say this, but you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got something in what's in his mouth? You can take away his dignity, but you'll always be a better leader than you ever be. You're nothing compared to him. Sick burn. Fine. Have it the hard way. I'll have you personally witness the end of my dear cousin for good. In the end, you don't get a choice. You will become mine. Not only are we going to save Larry and Xena, but when we defeat this guy, we're going to destroy his disgusting patriarchy. Then, together, we will finally conquer Sandrock. Bro, we fought off an army. We are not scared of you. VP, managers, do what you must do. I didn't expect to stumble upon an internal power struggle. Gary, I remember him, but he wasn't always this... Plump. I don't remember Gary either. Or I don't really remember Gary, to be honest with you. 
Okay, nothing to gather there. Hey, look, it's a firmus. I have one of those. Uh, sorry, Larry, but your predicament is not urgent enough for me to not smash every box. Ooh, I got an opal. We'll take it. Okay, useless. What is this? Humans. I'll wash your mouth out, filthy human. Nice. I'm pretty sure we just insulted him and Giggler. Reach for the sky, Gary. <laughs> Come and make me, you small fry. Hey, we ain't scared of you, bruh. Okay, but they are pretty big. Whoa, this guy's no joke. Okay, let's um, take out the little guys first. Ooh, Logan is not doing good. Jeez. This is actually a pretty serious battle, isn't it? Nice. Nia's doing work. Okay. Um, oh, I just got hit really hard. Let's do this. Maybe I should sit back with the rifle for just a little bit. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead, nice. Okay, I wanna fight this guy. But, ooh. I'm kind of sandwiched here. Let's get out of that. Oh, these there's three of them. Oh, he goes faster and faster. Holy crap. Okay, he's almost down already. Let's just... What just happened? Nice. Now what? Is he going to set the mammoth free? He's got to be. Oh, it's the sound that messes me up. Dang it. Yeah, let Larry free. Gary! <laughs> yes. Let's go! <laughs> He's kind of useless, huh? Dang, dude, Larry got moves. Oh. Nice. Gary's an idiot. And now you die. No Is one can defeat me. You're all fired. <laughs> this has to be a Trump reference, right? <laughs> Super algae. Okay, this is going to be a problem. And oh, you won't get a single penny. Now he's all stinky, too. Is the other guy still alive? He is. But, oh, crap. Take this guy out already. Okay. Um, I'm pretty scared of this guy. Not gonna lie. Let's do this. Like it's like a it's like a freaking comic book. <laughs> okay, let's reload. Oh god. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. Is he gonna do the bar thing? Yes, oh. That stuff is no joke. Uh, I like that Xena's bugged out and is just sitting next to her chair. Okay, so we kind of know his move pattern. Basically, he's going through those two. Okay, can we turn off the walk cycle? There we go. There we go. Nuked him. I am the president. Larry, are you okay? Xena. Husband. 
Oh, so cute. So cute. Well, good thing we got him when we did. Larry, you all right? I am. Thanks to you all. Zena. I'm fine, husband. The president's wife isn't so fragile. Dude, this is so great. I'm so happy she's alive. Husband, I be thinking about you every day. That despicable snake Gary kidnapped me. But now you're alive. Oh, Larry. Oh, Cena. <clears throat> so, uh, Nia, we came here on a mission. Okay, <laughs> calm down, guys. Ah, uh, right. I'm going to take some algae samples. But these machines look well preserved. I think we should salvage some of the core components. Might be useful if we want to cultivate this type of algae on our own. Yeah, we'll probably need Chi to help us understand what is what, right? Can you help with the salvaging? Thanks. I mean, yeah, of course. Let's see. Well, that was very exciting. What's over here? I want it. Oh, a pick hammer, huh? Just in case I didn't bring one, I guess. Can I... <laughs> this, can't, this can't be good for it. Let me just freaking rip it out of the wall here. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, there's two of them. I gotcha. These do not look like they're doing well. Have you finished? Great. Let's get back and show this to the professor and Mr. Zeke. Hopefully, this is what we're looking for. Hey, Larry. You coming? He's like, you got to give me. Look at his tail going. Oh, my uh, gosh. This is getting to be uh, uh, R-rated. <laughs> I think I'll stay a while, yak boy human. I have to settle things with Gary and the company anyway. Oh, is that what it's about? I'll come back when I'm done. All right. Suit yourself. Gross. You okay, go? let's go. I think we got everything that we needed, right? That is quite some adventure. I'm glad Larry found his wife. Is he all right? He's fine. Yeah, he said he'll be back soon. On the other hand, we got a pretty big payday. We found several types of algae. This is wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble for you. Never. It was fine. Nothing too stressful. And yeah, we all got out pretty unscathed. Even better. I take it you'll need to experiment a bit on the new algae? That's right. Time to prove our hypothesis. This is so exciting. We'll let you know when we get the results. Okay. I look forward to it. Thank you for your hard work. We killed it. Absolutely crushed it. Look at that. Whoa, look at the dino helmet. What the heck? Where is it? What? Is it an accessory? Huh? Oh, my bags are literally too full. That's so funny. Okay, well, we gotta buy one more slot, I guess. There we go, rainbow dinosaur senior hat. Let's see this thing. Oh, here we go, sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What a ridiculous hat. <laughs> Oh, too funny. Okay. Um, well, we as much <laughs> as amazing as that is, why don't we just go back to, you know, classic look. Here we go. I mean, this is our end game look right here. It's just too good. I can put the drill away. I don't need to run around with that like a psychopath. And um, I think we've done it. Out of my way. Professor La, I'm coming through. The greatest builder of all time. Okay. Get a lost book, don't worry, I'll be fine. Let's unload our bags first and foremost. We have way too much stuff going on. And then, let's see. I'll bet these machines are done? Let's see. Um, interact, why don't you actually stay right here? You all right there, Magic Mirror? Help her out, let's say sort all, confirm. Now, let's take a look at, okay, so we got plenty of room in these. So, 
I think we can just... I don't know why we have a work table now. Do we just get an extra work table? It's kind of weird. I realize that these are completely unorganized. Let's go to books. We're actually gathering a pretty decent collection of books now. Um, what is this? Oh, these are um, accessories. Okay. I need a nether box for all these relic parts, apparently. Put those away. Didn't I get a duster somewhere in there? Okay, so there's one wooden storage. We could put some stuff in here. What can we put in here? I guess we should put more. Oh, I have an extra one of these. Interesting. Oh, didn't I get... Okay, so I think I know where these are coming from. I think that I got a perk that allows it to create a duplicate of whatever I'm creating. Uh, no, that is not what happened. I just crafted the wrong one instead of crafting the furnace. That's pretty cool. Let's see what... I think just more relic space, right? These are actual relics. It'd be cool to put those in the house. I have too many house decorations. I guess I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Too much. Okay, that's a lot better, I think. Okay, now we come over here and fill our bags up again. Uh, lots of dregs. You know what we can do, actually, is we could put... We have so many of these stupid dregs. Uh, we'll say sort, and we'll put this stuff in there. There we go. Sort. What are we waiting on? We're waiting on these um, industrial machines, huh? I guess we haven't, I mean, since time froze, we haven't been out all that long. What about the furnace? Is the furnace done? Didn't I tell it to make a furnace? Did it just stop doing it? Uh, I guess we'll open these. Wait, no. I got a mount management chip. Let's take a look at what this is. baby chicks okay um i'm kind of just running around in circles right now i want to finish this porsche quest i told it to do a smelter didn't i and it doesn't look like it did it unless it went in my storage and i just missed it okay um maybe i accidentally told it to make this and that's why i ended up with that work table but i definitely didn't get what I wanted, it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna have to start it over. We need an industrial furnace and it looks like we just don't have the parts for it. Crap. We have plenty of that. If we can't make the cast iron pipes, it's because we don't have enough iron. Okay, that's the problem. Well, there's two solutions here, right? One is we can go iron mining. I don't really want to do that. So isn't aren't these rifle bullets using up all my steel? Maybe if I told it to stop doing that, but it doesn't, that's not going to matter. Do I need any more of these rifle bullets? Probably not. Sorry, now I'm kind of just all over the place. So I think that's the problem is that so we need iron to make all of that, and we probably need iron to make all of this stuff. Yep, that's the problem. We're short on iron. Okay, we're gonna have to go tell the moles to do nothing but iron for a few days to get us back up to snuff. Let's do that right now. Hello, darling. There we go, look at that, 50 across the board. So that should get us enough, right? Yeah, that should be fine. And then, let's see, let's head home. I don't wanna fight anything. 
So if that is what we're short on, I think we've got everything else done that we need to get done today. The one thing we could do is take um, some more commissions and at least get a little bit started on all of that before we head to bed. Merle return. Let's see, what is this? Again, with the stuff. Okay, oh, so it returned a bunch of the materials. Interesting, because I canceled it. Okay. Tomorrow we should be at, <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing in here? Hello. Mm. All right, Unky, this looks like the home stretch. So let's just buckle in and hammer out the last of the stuff. Then we can make Sandrock into the city of our dreams. <laughs> we got those pipes up pretty quick, all things considered. I'm starting to feel like we're in control here. It is pretty, so long, pretty exciting. Okay, commission. A lot of cast iron stuff. I like doing these because I have the stuff for it, but it doesn't make me a lot of money. That being said, since when I have just such an overabundance of this, we don't really need it. And we'll accept this one. Maybe that's not smart. I mean, this one would have paid way better. What have you been up to? Seeing you in a hurry. Don't want you to overwork yourself. It's okay. Hey, follow me. I got an idea. Is it too late? Oh, can we catch it? Is she not following? Come on. <laughs> Merle. <laughs> Merle's mad. He's like, I live here too. Is it too late in the evening to see the rainbow? I want to get a photo in front of the rainbow. Oh, I think it's too late in the evening. We're going to have to come back when the sun is high in the sky. And I want to get a photo right here. Maybe from over there. With the waterfall in the background and the rainbow. That would be so cool. Okay, well, one thing we can do while we're out here trotting around is we can go turn in these commissions really quick. And maybe they'll have some fun dialogue for us for the end of the evening. Ooh, uh, in fact, why don't we say hi to Jane? Let's see what she has to say about all this stuff. A showdown with a deceitful relative in a dark old world laboratory. What an exciting story. I could play the leading lady. Hmm. I suppose I consider myself lucky in a certain sense of the word. I'm one of the last people to ever get to see the dwindling oasis of Sandrock. From here on out, we'll all be looking at a new Sandrock. So true. So, long, partner. so Let's go, babe. Let's go deliver some goods, and then we'll head to bed. Oh, Vivi. Every time. It's actually kind Thank of annoying. You. Here you go. Thank you. For your tea. Oh, leveled up. That's nice. Wow. Look at that. Uh -huh. I always worry when you young folk go running off into the dangerous old world ruins. Thank the light y'all came out okay. Uh -huh. I think the real winners in all this are the children. You've helped build a school, solve the water crisis, and before long, Sandrock will be green again. They don't know how to thank you yet, Hunky, but they'll remember when they get a little older. Uh huh. Oh, Unky, could you be a deer and get your grandma a magnifier? Thank you. Catch you um, later. Catch you later. Why don't we just run? <laughs> Let's see. Um. Oh, we could talk to Pablo about getting our hair done again. I actually really like this color. I don't know how much lighter I would want it. I might keep it this way. I think it looks really good. Hey there. <laughs> I thought that was Danby. Here you go. Thank you. Ah, oh, Zeke's going to be so happy. Have some coffee. Danby and I became good friends. This is really nice. Okay, let's chat. Mm -hmm. So this new algae tech means we can get back to the planting soon? Woo, well, no rush, but hurry up. Thanks. Seeing this amazing oasis, Unky, I just want to thank you for doing so much for this town. I think without all your hard work, me and Riri might not still be here to witness this. That is true. They were ready to leave. They were one foot out the door. Okay, and then there's one more to deliver to, right? 
Who is it? Is it Chi? It's got to be Chi, right? Hey, Akipu. Let's go. What is going on? What the heck? The controls completely bugged out. Oh, interesting. She wasn't on yet, but somehow it took the forward input. So he just took off and ran to the wall. Man, we would have been running for a really long time if we hadn't figured that out. Okay, um, so the arrows on the minimap are still completely busted. That's unfortunate. Nothing we can do about that, I guess. Some silver you. bars for you. Yes, just a few more jobs, Unky, and there'll be nothing less for us to build except for the powerful and awesome technology. The things we actually want to build. Patience, triumphs, all. Shame the portion water wasn't enough for us. Oh, well. Looks like science wins again. <laughs> Amen. So long. Okay, let's head home. We're kind of just dragging my poor wife all over the place. I don't know that she wants to be doing any of this stuff, but it is just fun to have her with, with us. Okay, well, my friends, thank you so much for watching until the end. Hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let's hope that we start getting some serious iron shipments and that we don't run out of more steel. It is definitely bottlenecking. If I continue to have problems with it, I will definitely have to just spend a day in the mines. In fact, it seems to be... Um, Heidi, why don't you... No, this is, the, this is the yak. Go ahead, head home. Let's grab whatever's over here. More iron scrap. Where's the scrap coming from? Oh, that's my pet. In fact, we do have some scrap. Why don't we put that in? Oh, we'll name the birds. We'll worry about the scrap tomorrow. All right. I appreciate you all so much. I will bid you farewell, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.